Hey guys, this is Ravens from Digital Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 235. Redmi Note 11T 5G has been tipped to be launched in India on November 30th. The Redmi Note 11T 5G Indian variant will be powered by a Dimensity 810 processor and packs up to 8 GB RAM and houses a 5000 mAh battery. This handset will come in three color variants and storage variants. Redmi SmartBand Pro packs a 200 mAh battery and supports magnetic charging. This SmartBand comes with an SPO2 tracking and over 110 plus fitness modes. Redmi SmartBand Pro comes in a single black color option. Realme confirmed it plans to enter high-end smartphone market soon. Skyline founder and CEO at Realme announced that the brand will be releasing smartphone priced above 800 US dollars. The upcoming Realme flagship would be competing against iPhone, Pixel and Galaxy S series. A modified iPhone X that has a USB-C port instead of Lightning port has sold on eBay for eighty-six thousand US dollars. The phone, which is a work of robotics engineering student Ken Pinel, can use a physical connector for both charging and transferring data. But Pinel wants the buyer should not use a groundbreaking device as a regular phone, take it apart, or update the OS, any of which could risk breaking it. Huawei scheduled an event for November 17th where it will unveil plenty of new product from its smart ecosystem including a Watch GT runner. The company later revealed a new MacBook key which will also take the stage a 2-in-1 hybrid with detachable keyboard. An Indian American blogger weird slap experiment to increase his work productivity has gone viral on the internet. Manish Sethi, a computer programmer from San Francisco, has now grabbed much attention for his crazy list stat for a slapper that he posted back in 2012. A tweet describing Sethi's solution to excessive social media addiction was noticed by Tesla CEO Elon Musk who reacted to the post. Manish Sethi hired a woman named Kayara from Crazy List as a slapper for 8 US dollars per hour to help cut down on his Facebook usage. Sethi apparently found out that he was spending close to 30 hours a week on Facebook and other social media sites that ate over 38 percentage of his work week. After hiring Kayara, Sethi told that his productivity increased by 98 percentage during that process. He also mentioned that he actually got slapped quite a few times by his professional slapper. Moto Tab G70 visits the Google Play console according to the rumors. It comes with a MediaTek processor, 4GB RAM and a 1200 into 2000 pixels which runs on Android 11. Moto Watch 100 specifications include a 1.3 inch circular LCD display, a 355 mAh battery and a heart rate sensor. Motorola's upcoming smartwatch will feature a matte finish and two buttons on the side. Smartwatch is expected to come with a budgeted price segment but offer a premium feel. The new Boom Cobalt electric two-wheeler is fully designed and developed in India. Boom Motors opened the pre-booking for a Boom Cobalt electric two-wheeler at an initial token amount of rupees three thousand. The deliverables of the Boom Cobalt electric two-wheelers will commence from January twenty twenty-two. Apple has just filed a new patent with the US Patent and Trademark Office earlier this week. This patent is for a unique and new privacy feature that only reveals the content on iPhone through special glasses. The US Patent and Trademark Office has published two new patent application filed by Apple. What is interesting in the latest patent filing by Cupertino based tech giant is that they indicate the development of possible drone devices in no distant future. These two things in the US Patent Office added to three previous patent related to possible Apple drone device. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.